What's up Deckers? Welcome to another guide video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing how to get the Lemonade 3DS emulator running on your Steam Deck. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. To get started, you're going to need to download this from your GitHub. So you can just do that by opening up a browser. We're going to open up Chrome here. We're going to hit Lemonade 3DS emulator here. Hit enter. And you're going to see the GitHub here. So we're going to hit that. We're going to click the Alpha 2 here. We're going to scroll down and we're going to make sure to download the Linux app image here. So once you do so, pick a place you want it to install. I have it installed my download. So I'm just going to leave it there. So now once you've downloaded, open up your download folder here. So you're going to find the folder here that you then going to want to extract the folder. So hit extract there. After you extract it, you should get a file like this. So now that you have the file, you're going to need this Lemonade QT app image. So what I did is I just brought this to the desktop to make life a lot easier for me. Next thing you want to do is just create a folder to where you're going to put all your ROMs. So I just created a folder the desktop as well and put a 3DS on it here. So next thing you want to do is you're going to want to just run the executable here. So we're just going to double click it execute it here and once you do so it then brings this up so now this is pretty simple but in order to get this to run on gaming mode steam os you're going to need emidex so i'll show you guys that part here in a bit but let's just go to some settings here and let's just come fix some stuff so for controllers in order to get the controller to work here you're going to need to go to auto map in here it's going to detect your Steam Deck controller. You're going to hit OK. It's going to tell you hit a button or hit your joystick. Once you do so, you should be good to go on Steam Deck controller. So you're going to hit OK. The other thing you can do if you want motion touch, you have to get this through Emmy Deck. So let me open up Emmy Deck and show you guys the next part of this. So I've showcased a video tutorial on how to set up Emmy Deck. I'll link that if that's something you guys were interested in. So we're just going to open up Emmy Deck here. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to get the gyroscope is we're going to click here. We're going to install Steam Deck Gyro DSU. And once you do so, you're going to see it just pop up here on the screen. So this is what it looks like. So now once you have that, you're going to open up Lemonade again and you're going to need to go here to Motion Touch. Again, this is how you get Gyro. Make sure you come here to Motion Provider. Make sure you have the Simu Hook DUP here. So once you do that, hit Test. And then after you do Test, hit OK and then you should be good to go. So now once you've done that, hit OK and your controller should be set. So we're not done with Emmy Deck yet. So we're going to open up Emmy Deck again. And this is how, again, we bring this emulators to SteamOS, right? So we're going to click on Steam ROM Manager here. We're going to hit yes here. And then you want to go to settings here and you want to go to select classical Steam mode here. And then you want to create parser here. And then once you do so, you just want to scroll down. You want to find Nintendo 3DS here. So once you find that, you're going to see your ROMs directory. Then here's where you want to choose where you want your ROMs to come from. So again, I have mine the desktop. So I just went to my desktop here and I was able to choose that 3DS file folder that I made. So again, this is a 3DS folder. So I picked it, hit select folder at the bottom right here. Next thing is you're gonna want to choose the app image. So come here to executable and find that app image that we saved in the desktop. Again, so I have mine here, Lemonade app image. So we're gonna select it. We're going to hit select files. So once that's done, you just come here and you hit save and you should be good to go. The next thing you want to do again, is you want to go to settings here and then you want to switch it off from classic mode and you want to just go back to Emmy deck. And this is going to be what you're used to when it comes to Emmy deck. So you're going to go to preview here. You're going to go to parse here. So by doing so, the games that you have in your folder, the 3DS folder should come up here. Next thing you want to do is you want to save it to Steam. So by doing so, you should now be able to run this one on Steam OS or the game mode, which I'll showcase here. All right, so now we're back in gaming mode. So let's see if this works. So we're going to go to my library here. We're going to go to non-Steam games. And as you can see, we do have Super Mario Bros. and Mario Kart 7. So we're just going to hit play here. Let's see if it actually works here. So boot right up and you should be good to go. So that's how you play your 3DS emulator with Lemonade. So let me know if this video was helpful. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.